Gorilla physics. Yeah. Now Snell's law states that the refractive index from one medium to another is equal to sine of the angle in the first medium over sine of the angle in the second medium. So in this case our first medium one is air and our second medium is perspex. Um, and we're interested to know well, what is the refractive index from air to perspex. So I'm going to draw around my block so I know exactly where my different boundaries are because you remember from your GCSE the refractions happen, uh, refraction happens at a boundary between two mediums. I'm going to place my block on and I'm going to turn out the lights so you can see what happens. So you can see that refraction has happened at this boundary and then has also happened at this boundary as well. I'm just going to mark on where the ray comes from, where it goes into the block, and where it leaves the block, and then where it goes to. And then I'll have made all my measurements and turn the light back on. Okay, well, first things first, let's just construct our rays so we know exactly what's happening here. The light came in here. Ray diagrams of one arrow on each ray, show which direction it's going. Couldn't see this ray, but it did go from there to there. And then from that boundary out to this point. And you'll remember that, yep, this ray should be parallel with that ray. Now we're going to measure our angles. We're going to measure, we always measure angles between the ray and a normal. And a normal line is at 90 degrees to the surface. Okay, um, and we're going to measure the angles over here as well, so we can get an average. So in this case, well, this is our angle of incidence, we would call it, or angle one, that's angle two, that's angle two there inside, that's angle one there. Let's measure them up. Okay, so my refractive index is going to be sine, that letter by the way is mu, Greek letter, and this one is theta, which is sine of 38.75 over sine 28. One point three three. I'm actually going to do a second value, um, to sh kind of just to show you more than anything. Really, I'll just do this another sheet. This time 1.42. So, but what I would expect A level students to do is actually take, as I said, a range of I's and R's or angle 1's and plot sine I over sine R or sine 1 over sine 2. You should get a straight line, obviously, depending on the accuracy of your results. 
and the reliability of your results, you might get a intercept, which would be a systematic error. Um, and you can actually calculate your refractive index from that. So we did our little experiment and we found out that the refractive index from here, number one, to number two was 1.33. Okay, well actually we can now work out what is the speed in these two different mediums. We say that the refractive index, mu, equals the velocity in one over the velocity in two. And we know the velocity in air, this is air out here, uh, we don't know the velocity in perspex. So we can actually use the velocity in air, which we know is the speed of light in a vacuum, or in air, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. But we don't know V2. So what we can quickly do, 1.33 mu equals 3 times 10 to the 8 over V2. Okay, and then rearrange for V2, which is 3 times 10 to the 8 over 1.33, gives us 2.26 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Thanks for watching this video from Gorilla Physics. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, why not go ahead and subscribe? I hope you found it useful, so please tell your friends, and every like and share that we get helps us be more useful to more people.